Hello, 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 Spy Kitten here with another eye-opening expose. In today's video, I will be exposing the world's most famous magicians and their deep-rooted ties to demons and the occult. So let's get to it, because there's much to be exposed. Actually, I can actually see it. The mystical art form known as magic has long been exercised and revered by various secret societies and ancient schools of the mystery religions, and it is still in use to this very day. To the true practitioners of this craft, the embodiment of magic is in fact very real, and is very different from the conventional and commercial sleight of hand and stage magic that we are all used to seeing today. To the bona fide magician, magic is defined as a science and an art that causes change to occur in conformity with their will, meaning the sorcerer can in essence transform reality to his or her liking, usually in accordance with the laws of the universe. But many magicians, specifically those who belong to secret societies such as the Illuminati or the Golden Dawn often seek to break these very laws of the universe by calling on demons and other diabolical entities to assist them in this devious art form known as black magic. Within this dark practice, there is a nefarious agenda to discredit Jesus Christ, and it is in fact being pushed by some of the most recognized and renowned magicians all over the world, such as Dynamo. Trying to put light for the minute. Light for the basket. I'm scared. I'll help some. Ah! Oh my God! Oh, oh, shit. Shit. He just yeah. pulled this chain. Yeah. Oh, David Blaine. That'll do the trick, just... Yeah, that's what you do. Eve and many others.
Here are just a few examples. These performances were clearly inspired by biblical stories and are being executed subconsciously to the masses just to discredit Jesus Christ as a mere magician. These are truly the false miracles of the Antichrist spirit. Now, the most dangerous form of black magic is the scientific perversion of occult power such as breaking the laws of physics or biology for the gratification of personal desire. These men will bargain their eternal soul for temporary power through a risky and a mysterious process known as a soul contract. In its various branches, the black art embraces nearly all forms of ceremonial magic, such as necromancy, witchcraft, sorcery, vampirism, Kabbalah, and alchemy. And under the same general heading, this also includes mesmerism and hypnotism. There are some crucial factors that these magicians have truly mastered concerning the theory and practice of black magic. What? This, this, this does mental. See how it really looks. So, sorry, David, seriously. Ha, this isn't a trick. You're just sticking a needle through your f***ing arm. What are you doing? See how it looks. That's f***ing horrible. Pull it. Oh, f*** me. Pull. I don't understand. Pull. Pull. Oh, Paul. David, what have you Paul. done? Are you a maniac? Paul. This is real. Sorry, this is real. That's real. That's not a trick. If there's no blood, that's the one thing that doesn't make any sense. First, the magicians have come to accept that the visible universe has an invisible counterpart, meaning they truly believe in the habitation of good and evil spirits in our realm and the next. Second, by means of the secret processes of black magic, it is possible to contact these invisible entities and gain their help in some human undertaking. Third, it is possible to make contracts with spirits whereby the magician becomes for a stipulated time the master of an elemental being more commonly referred to as a demon. And fourth, true black magic is performed with the aid of a demonic spirit who serves the sorcerer for the length of his early life 
with the understanding that after death, the magician shall become the servant of his own demon. For this very reason, a black magician will go to inconceivable ends to prolong his physical life. And in fact, many a magician has lost his life as the result of trusting these demonic creatures during dangerous stunts. fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death. God bless each and every one of you. I hope you enjoyed this eye-opening expose. This was a Spy Kitten approved message. Comment, like, and subscribe for more content.